Hi guys, this is Sean and Claire from Shock and Awe. We've gotten so many questions since the show about how we do our makeup. So today we thought we'd share with you the five steps to take your makeup from ho-hum oh. to holy cow. Yeah. So let's get started. Yes. So just to preface, we have a full face of foundation, um, contour, powder, blush on. I have a little bit of mascara, but obviously I don't look nearly as awesome as Claire does. Mm -hmm. And so these are the tips that really elevate our makeup and make it so much more than just an everyday. Of course, we wear that every day. Yeah. But um, so let's get going then. The first one would be eyebrows. Now, I think Definitely. that eyebrows really define the face. You know, it, since we're putting on so much uh, eye makeup, I and think... Lipstick. Yes, and that. That we really need something to help ground our face and make it nice and angular mm -hmm. so we definitely definitely fill in our eyebrows as you can see oh yeah so what i use is is this a mac is it a mac eyeliner it's a gel mm. eyeliner what color is it it is in brown dip color. down which is a dark brown to match our hair of course and um claire is using the mac i think it's 12 no 213 213 brush pardon me it's a nice flat brush that gives you the really angular brow and she's gonna demonstrate just by putting the makeup on me so she's gonna move a little bit to the side so wave goodbye claire Bye. she'll be back okay okay so what i'm going to do is make sure that my brush is nice and flat when i do this nice and straight and then i'm going to start from the center of the eye, would you say? What would you call that? No, it's from the fullest part of the brow. From the fullest part of the brow and work outward. And Sean actually has thinner eyebrows than I do. So we want to make sure that we get a nice shape when we fill these in. Because we have to be twins, you know. Of course. Same eyebrows and everything. Or we could just make sure that you have nice looking brows. That too. And what kind of motions are you using? Um, I'm using motions where you keep your mouth shut so I can actually, you know, uh. make this look nice. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm starting by slightly squaring off the end of the eyebrow and making sure I fill in fully as I go. And I'm creating a nice, um, not overly exaggerated, but a nice point at the top of the brow and then working back toward the end in keeping with her natural eyebrow line and I like to extend my eyebrows slightly when I do this to make sure that I have a nice drama yes a nice dramatic effect And again, if you make a mistake, that's why Q-tips were invented. And concealer! And concealer! Woo! Okay, give that a look. Yeah, so you can definitely see the more exaggerated, darkened brow compared to this one. So Claire's gonna quickly do the other one, and then we'll move on. Okay. Well, I make fun of you in the process. No, it's okay. Good to go. Okay, let's see. Good to go. Okay. There you go. So you can definitely see how much more dramatic and dynamic. Oh my god, Claire. Claire, Claire has killer brows. I, I do. Okay, next. 
we are going to do eyeshadow. And Claire and I are not, you know, super savvy at the crease, the lid, the all that. I mean, or we just, you know, want something that's quick and easy. Quick and easy. Quick Always and easy. good. So we prefer this Urban Decay eyeshadow. It's in Space Cowboy, which is a beautiful champagne color with yes. lots of sparkle. I mean, Loads. love lots of sparkle. Loads. You can actually see our eyelids on TV from, like, afar, like, wow, right here. Right here. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you can use a brush. Sometimes you use my finger. Whatever. Wh Just whatever you feel comfortable lid. doing. So, I'm working it even into the inner corner of her lid. All the way over. All the way up to the brow. Even up to, yep, yeah, even up to the brow, brow bone, and out to the, ex the outer edge of the eyebrow. You know, just a nice full shimmer. Working on the other one, same deal. Into How easy was brow, that? I mean, believe me. Super easy. It doesn't get easier than that. And you probably couldn't get more impact for your money. Well, you can see that me because, you know. Yeah. So, it, it it's a beautiful color, trust us. I mean, it blends in very much to the skin, but it's perfect for holiday parties, for Christmas. Every just because, day! Every day! Because I wear it every day. I do. Just, just because it's a subtle but beautiful shimmer. Let's see. What was next? What is next? Oh. Ah. The wings. The wings. The wings are next because the wings are our signature trademark and our favorite product to use to create our wings is Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid Eyeliner because it has this kind of felt point tip as almost like see. a pen kind of like a pen but unlike the pens that you find with eyeliner this doesn't dry out no. because it's a pot formula sure. rather than like a pen formula and so you'll you'll always have liquid in the container of course till it runs out so okay. How are we going to do this, Claire? Well, see, Sean already has regular black eyeliner on, and that's very important. We want to keep, we want to have a nice base to start with. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the outer corner of her eye, almost right next to the point of the eyebrow that I created. See, right along here. And I'm going to draw a line to the inner corner of her eye. And this doesn't have to be incredibly precise at this moment. And then, but you know, eventually we will want it to be precise. Uh, we're going to continue that line from the inner corner across her lash line. Connecting to the existing... Um, eyeliner? Eyeliner, thank you, that word. Mm -hmm. Eyeliner that she already has on. And then, again, we're going to want to cover up the traditional eyeliner so we can have a nice even look and then also it gives an, a nice sharp line when we're using the liquid and again it may take some time to perfect this look but again that's why q-tips were invented yes so as you can see Sean now has a really nice point a really exaggerated Cat eye. Um, cat eye. And I would open my eye for you, but it's still drying. Yes. So, so. you'll want to keep your eyes shut for a, a little while At to least let that dry. Seconds. Because you don't want to ruin the beautiful eyeshadow that we just put on. Yes. So Claire's going to do the other one. Speedily. Speedily. Okay. Say, so, and I did make a tiny mistake. So, oh, no. Q-tip. Gift from the gods. And I did not just lick it. <laughs> Actually, saliva does break down a lot of things. It does. So, if you do have a twin sister and are willing to, you know, let them take, you know, your makeup off with spit, then by all means. There we go. True love. Can Never happens. True love. <laughs> she just so, put her spit on my face. I did. 
So, would you like to do the lipstick or the eyelashes? No, let's do the lashes first. Okay. So, one of the most impactful parts of our makeup are the eyelashes. Now, Sean can tell you about them while yes. I start applying the glue. So, the kind that we use... For one, Claire and I, I am not going to spend $20 on lashes that I end up ripping off later. So... We spend about six or so. These are our favorites. They're by I Lure by Vegas Nay, and they're called Grand Glamour. They're actually a two set of lashes. They're two sets of lashes piled on top of one another. They're very full. They're irregular, so they give an enormous looking eye, and they really help transition the makeup of the uh, the big cat eye to making it a bit more natural looking. <laughs> if this could look natural. No. Yes. So, so, all I'm doing right now is applying a, there's the glue, right there, a small amount of glue to the inside of the lash using a toothpick, I was going to say Q-tip, toothpick, making sure that it's nice and evenly coated. We don't want a huge amount, but we don't want to skimp because we want these to stay on all day. And we're going to let these sit and dry for, I would say, 30 to 45 seconds before we attempt to put them on so that we make sure that the glue is slightly tacky enough that it will certainly affix to Sean's eye. Yes. And so in the meantime, the last and final number five beauty product that we do, that we use to uh, make our grand glamorous look is actually probably one of the cheapest. It is Maybelline Fuchsia Flash, their Vivid Lipstick. It is so impactful in color, rich, beautiful, goes on wonderfully, long-lasting. See, I have nothing left because I love it so much. It's $5.50, and... Creates the whole look. Uh-huh. Yeah. There we go. And look at, I mean, there was no lip liner, nothing. How pretty. So right now I am taking the dried eyelash and I'm going to rest it as close to the lash line as humanly possible. And again, I'm using that toothpick that I use to apply the glue and I'm pushing the eyelash down with the side of the toothpick because I really don't want to poke Sean in the eye. She well, actually maybe, does. Sometimes I do, yeah. but I try not to. Revenge. And let's see. Let's have you open. There we go. And Sean has a beautiful lash. Mm. Yes. And sometimes, again, it may take a little while to let these uh, fully set. Fully So cure. you're going to want to wait maybe, maybe, a, ooh, I lost it. Maybe a minute. Don't leave me with only one, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we're going to put the other one on. Make sure it's not too far out. Putting it on the exact same way. Okay. And look at that! And there you have it! So, the five things that turn us from ho-hum to holy cow, holy cow are our winged eyeliner, our eyelashes, our lipstick, our eyeshadow, and eyebrows. the eyebrows. So I hope you enjoy and make sure to check out www.shockandawe.com and follow us at shock and awe, which is S-H-O-C-K-A-N-D-A-W-W-W on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks so much. Bye.